Miles away in Washington, D.C., 35-year-old Mary Ray Soper was also excited about getting to Los Angeles. She was about to start the second half of her life when American Airlines Flight 77 crashed into the Pentagon. Mary Ray had decided to give up her career as a lawyer to follow her lifelong dream. She had just landed her dream job as head coach of a college gymnastics team in California. Something she'd always wanted to do, and she was just going to go for it this year and just do it. Life's too short. In high school, she was a state champion, but gymnastics didn't come easy to Mary Ray. Her coach says it was her hard work and determination that made her great. Her father said Mary Ray achieved things he never dreamed of for a daughter. He's just going to be a gymnastics coach in heaven, that's all. Two more women whose lives were cut short. We are mourning today, and it is so hard, but I think important. We all want, uh, we want all of you who lost your loved ones and your friends and your co-workers to know that we feel so deeply your pain. Mary Ray Soper's parents, Marianne and Bill, are here. Mary Ray's memorial was held uh, this past weekend, and I read that someone there said, today, let the official record say that Mary Ray Soper, when last seen, was headed for her dream. That's powerful. So how are you coping? I mean, you know, I, 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 we're all trying the best we can. Those of us who knew absolutely no one in, in, that, uh, in those flames, whether they were in the Pentagon or in the World Trade Center, feel this deep sense of loss. And I think something Dr. Phil said the other day, uh, even though many of us aren't biologically related to them, we feel like they are our relatives. We feel like it was us, because the attack was not just on those people who happened to have that misfortune, but the, the attack was on all of us. It's difficult to cope when you knew no one. How are you? Is it your faith? Is it friends? What, what is it that keeps you? Wonderful friends. Yeah, that allows you to yeah, still I mean, stand. Um, there were probably 800 to 1,000 people at our memorial mm -hmm. that flew in from, and many drove, and from um, many, many different states. And to hear the stories of her life, it's things we didn't even know. Mm -hmm. Do you find comfort? Is there comfort in numbers? Is there comfort with the whole country, with knowing that other people are going through the same thing, knowing that so many of us? Or is it a, it, is it something that well, you wish, feel alone? I, I wish there weren't so many people that had to go through it. Mm -hmm. We're talking thousands of people. And our, uh, our child isn't any more special than any of the other ones. I mean, we've all got this grief. Uh, so, uh, it, it, as Marion said, the friends that have called and sent emails and friends of Mary Ray's that we never knew of that have uh, contacted us and, uh, of course, people who came to the memorial service, uh, never seen anything like it. Mm -hmm. Do you feel a sense of closure now? Do you feel uh, that there's closure or does it still feel unreal? That helped. Yeah. I, I, I think... Uh, we're hoping to get out to Washington, D.C. I assume there'll be some kind of a service there for the mm -hmm. victims and not only the plain mm -hmm. people, but the ones that were in the Pentagon. So we'd like to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. uh, it was interesting that one of, the, your, one of your clips talked about be, being able to, to smell the victim right. on the clothes. That we, uh, Tina, her, her sister, has already witnessed that because Tina lives out in that area also and she w went through some of yeah. Mary Ray's belongings. I know, I saw a lot of people nodding when someone on the tape mentioned going through the closet and everywhere, she was saying everywhere her husband's scent was. I think a lot of people who have lost loved ones hold on to the scent, mm -hmm. hold on to the scent. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you thank for you. having me. Our hearts and prayers are with you as they are with everyone. 